Up until a few years ago, we had thought, well, maybe 450 parts per million of CO2 might be uh, the level at which we'd get into dangerous territory. And the rationale was that that would prevent additional global warming from being more than a couple of degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but now, now that we look at the Earth's history more carefully and have better data on how the Earth responded to changes in global temperature and atmospheric composition in the past, and as we see how the Earth is responding to the present amount, 387 parts per million of CO2, we see that we have actually already passed into the dangerous range of atmospheric CO2. If we leave it at this level for centuries, there would clearly be major effects that we don't want to happen. We can see already that the Arctic sea ice is melting and we're probably going to lose all of that in the summer. Mountain glaciers all around the world are receding rapidly. With, if we stay on business as usual, most of those will be gone within 50 years. And that affects the fresh water supply for hundreds of millions of people. We can see that the subtropics are expanding. That's affecting the southern United States and the Mediterranean region, Australia. It's going to make the southern southwest United States uh, practically unlivable in several decades if we stay on business as usual. So there are a lot of things that tell us that 450 ppm, which would be a lot more than now, would really be far into the dangerous uh, range. So we've got to begin to reduce emissions rapidly if we want to get back to a s safe level of 350 ppm or we may even have to go somewhat less than that.